Fred DeLuca was more than just the man behind the sandwich, or more precisely, the Subway sandwich. Fred was always an ambitious businessman. While growing up in the projects in Brooklyn, he would often collect soda bottles to turn them in for the deposit so he could buy comic books. Then, once he read the comics, he would sell them to other kids so he could buy more. Hence, the birth of the entrepreneur. In school, he was a member of Junior Achievement, and years later, inducted into the Connecticut Chapter Junior Achievement Hall of Fame. Many years later, after moving to Connecticut, Fred accompanied his parents, Sal and Carmela DeLuca, to a picnic at the home of his parents' friends, Dr. Peter and Heide Buck. The 17-year-old wasn't keen on attending, but that visit turned into a fateful day for Fred and many others. The partnership that began that day would change the landscape of franchising, giving opportunities to thousands around the world who dreamed of owning their own businesses and helping millions get access to affordable, made-to-order meals. For that day, a simple idea was born. Fred and Pete would open a submarine sandwich shop. Fred came from a family with a very moderate lifestyle. He wanted to go to college and then to medical school, but he knew it wouldn't be easy. He was working at the local hardware store, making minimum wage, just $1.65 an hour, hardly enough to pay tuition. Then, after seeing the Bucks home, complete with a two-car garage, Fred had another idea. I'll tell Dr. Buck about my plan, and he'll help me out, he thought. He'll start peeling off $100 bills and give them to me so I can pay my tuition. He'll probably say, just keep it. Instead, Dr. Buck offered Fred a $1,000 investment that would change his life. The two men shook hands and made plans to open an Italian submarine sandwich shop. It may seem amazing that the partnership that started that day during a backyard barbecue was solidified with a handshake between a 17-year-old and a man nearly 20 years his senior. But what is more amazing is that all these years later, the partners still only had a handshake agreement. Pete's Super Submarines was the Buck and DeLuca family's first shop. The store opened in the coastal town of Bridgeport, Connecticut on a hot, steamy day in August. On that first day, young Fred had to take off early, leaving his new business venture to take a test in his English class at the University of Bridgeport. Eventually, Fred earned a degree in psychology from the university, and many years later, UB awarded him an honorary doctorate. Soon the business expanded, and Fred and his high school sweetheart Elizabeth spent many of their date nights visiting the sandwich shops to see how they were faring and picking up the daily receipts. In spite of that, or maybe because of it, Elizabeth eventually became Fred's wife. As Fred and Pete grew their sandwich business and eventually began franchising, they also became astute businessmen and refined their operations and controls. Fred loved to tell the story of how the sub-chain began making sandwiches right in front of the customers, establishing the first open kitchen concept. It went back to the late 1960s when Fred picked up a young hitchhiker. During their drive, his passenger pointed out a Pete's sub-location and said to Fred, See that sandwich shop? It's the best place to get all the free soda you want. Fred was intrigued by this comment, so he probed further. How does it work? The passenger replied, When the person behind the counter turns around to make your sandwich, you can grab all the soda you want from the cooler by the door. From that day forward, all the sandwiches were made in front of the customer, and that's still how Subway sandwiches are made today. Fred had many honors bestowed upon him during his career, from carrying the Olympic torch through his native Brooklyn, New York, to being inducted into the IFA Hall of Fame and Entrepreneurs Hall of Fame. He's credited with creating the successful International Franchise Association Second Tuesday Network Group. Fred pioneered one of the first development agent programs in franchising. Some of his employees referred to the Fountain of Fred because he was always thinking, strategizing, and sharing ideas to make his business and his franchisees more successful. Fred DeLuca supported many causes and lived by his belief 
we need to serve the people who serve. He was impressed by people who worked in the nonprofit world and how they selflessly labored to help others. Each year, when his family foundation held their annual grant review, Fred had one requirement. The executive director of every organization that applied for a grant received a Subway gift card, whether they got the grant or not. He asked them to use it personally or share it with their families. Fred felt that they worked long hours and deserved a token of recognition. The partners always tried to do what was right for others and never sought accolades or pats on the back. They were quiet, they were unassuming, and yet both Fred and Pete made a magnificent impact on the world of franchising, on the world of quick service dining, and on thousands of Subway team members around the globe. Being hailed as one of the most influential forces in franchising and a widely recognized businessman was a foreign concept to the shy and humble DeLuca. Fred DeLuca always remembered where he came from.